Speed meets It's math time! Let's solve distance, speed, and time! In order to solve these problems, always remember this triangle guide formula. Hindi yung kabi-pabi formula, ha? Mag-drawing ng triangle at iposition ang DST tulad nito. D stands for distance, S for speed, and T for the time. If you're looking for the distance, simply multiply the S and T. Just remember na yung magkatabi sa baba are always multiplied to each other. If the S is speed, divide the distance to the time. See that line between the upper and lower portion? Remember this as hint of fraction or division. And lastly, if you're looking for time, anong may iwan para sa time formula? Yes! Distance over speed! Write the fraction or division sentence. Recap time! Formula for distance is speed times time, or d equals s times t para mas mabilis. The formula for speed is distance divided by time. The formula for time is distance is divided by speed. Gumagamit din tayo ng units. This can also be a hint para malaman natin kung ano yung given sa isang word problem. These are commonly used distance units. Mile, kilometer, meter, feet, centimeter. Sa time naman, gumagamit tayo ng hour, second, minute, at iba pa. Even days, weeks, months, and so on. Can you name other units of time? Always remember to put unit in your final answers para di ma-minus point ni teacher. Sa speed naman, pwede yung gamitin ang miles per hour, kilometers per hour, meter per hour, meter per second, feet per second, centimeter per second, and more. Para di mahaba, pwede rin tayo gumamit ng abbreviation. For example, sa miles per hour, pwede natin gawing MPH. Another example, kapag kilometers per hour, ganito ang isusulat nyo. Try na natin mag-solve using this triangle guide and the formula. We are looking for the speed. That means we will divide distance and time. Let's write the formula and solve. Take note, pwede kayo pumili kung yung fraction or division sentence ang gagamitin. I-replace lang ang letters into the given. I will use the fraction muna. Ang given sa distance is 280 miles and 7 hours naman for the time. Simply divide the distance sa time. So, 280 divided by 7 equals 40. Don't forget the unit. Pagsamain lang yan, kaya miles per hour. Per means kada or every 1 hour. Kaya walang S sa dulo ah. So, same lang naman if yung division format ang gagamitin natin. 280 divided by 7 hours equals 40 miles per hour. Now, let's solve the time. Basta makita mo sa triangle na may upper and lower portion, that's division. At uunahin ang nasa taas, which is the distance. The distance given is 160 feet divided by 2 feet per second the speed. The answer is 80. Cancel the unit feet kasi parehas meron. And matitira na lang is seconds, which is a correct unit for time. And the final answer is 80 seconds. <coughs> Lastly, let's find the distance. Nasa taas lang ang distance. Ang mga nasa baba should be multiplied. The formula is D equals S times T. The speeds given is 4 feet per second multiplied by the time 50 seconds. The answer is 200. Cancel natin yung mga may magkaparehas na unit which is seconds. Matitira ang unit na feet. So our final answer is 200 feet. Remember Artmates, practice makes perfect! Thank you for watching Artmates!